I'm here to invade your home right now. And now, the hardest, baddest, sexiest man on cable access, Mr. Home Invaders himself. Mr. Hector Bosa! How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? That's it. Clap, whistle, and so forth. This is live and taped at the same time. As you can see, my name is Hector Bosa. This is the Home Invaders Variety Show. And if you ever, ever forget, let me tell you one last time until the next show comes up, that I am still the hardest, the baddest, and sexiest man on cable access TV. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I still hold that title because all the women love me. So you can clap for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the cat calls. We have a great show coming up. And I, like I said before, we're going to have a good time. Like Fat Albert used to say, nah, 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 I'm going to have a good time. Yeah, hey, hey. No, but uh, I hope they don't kill me or sue me for that. But um, that was less than eight seconds. But as we here have here, we have now, or well, coming up, a gentleman by the name of Mac Thompson, if I'm pronouncing his name right. We're going to have him, and we're going to have plenty of other people. But for now, we're going to go to Mac Thompson. So let's interview him first. Okay. How you doing, sir? How's everything? Things are good. All Things right. Real good. Put the mic up there sure. so that they don't stand and say <laughs> you can't. They can't hear you. Sounds good. Okay. The camera, the camera too this way, but okay. you, anyway, move towards me a little. Sure. Bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it, cause you know. Okay. But anyway, so this is what we're gonna do. You sure. have you you have many hats. You have I think more hats than I do. <laughs> I think I got yeah. about seven hats. <laughs> you know. But um, <laughs> <laughs> you do do a lot. Yes, you do. are um, a founder. Yes. Of I'll let you explain that. You what what companies do you do and um, have and so forth? Sure. Um, I have. I'm the founder, CEO, and chairman of the Alpira Group. I'm an entrepreneur. Yes. Uh, the Alpira Group is a company I founded, where we we do a whole bunch of businesses. Yes. And you're right. I, yes. I appreciate. It. I do a lot of hats. But we, uh, the main thing that we have is our very first one was our called the Metro Golf Tour, which is the actually the only international professional amateur tour in the world. Um, right now we are in ten countries, and uh, we have the highest purses in the world, uh, which right now by the end of next year we'll be at a half a million dollars with a tour championship of one million dollars. Now you know the thing with golf is. Golf, for some reason, is very popular. I don't play golf, you know. I don't know if they allow drinking on the golf things either. Cause yeah, I, they do. Because I'll probably be like Caddyshack right. and just hit the damn ball. Go away. Well, my, my right. ball actually goes to the right. I have a bad bad swing when they had the free golf, you know, teaching right. in, in New York. But um, now we'll, we'll hit each one. Now, I have here this uh, the energy. Yes. The energy. Yes. I know people are interested in that because Absolutely. the oil spills and so forth. I don't know Absolutely. if you have to do anything to do with that, but please explain. Sure. Basically, um, if you, everybody goes to the website, actually to our Facebook page, uh, Alpure Energy, um, it's very different. We are a company that specializes in the development of alternative energy. Uh, our, sp our area of specialty is algae biofuel technology. And what's unique about that is how many people out there are worried about their children or worry about breathing issues. Algae is one of the safest forms of biofuels out there. And what's unique about it is that there's no uh, emissions from right. the algae itself. Right. So we're, what we're trying to do is we're basically we're trying to knock out oil and fracking. And as you know... The, one what of the is fracking? Fracking okay. is a process where they take instruments using chemicals go into bedrock, and they use very powerful uh, instruments to break through layers of rock mm -hmm. to get the natural gas. Right. Now, what happens? That goes into people, uh, into the water system, mm -hmm. and if there's a lot of documentaries on right. all the right. other organizations. But it doesn't yeah. hurt It doesn't hurt the ocean or anything oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Fracking does, yes. Oh, it does? Oh, it does. It, fracking, it, fracking gets into the water, gets into the soil, and actually goes it, into, and they're still not sure so the damage of it. 
Oh, okay. They're still not sure, and that's how yeah, bad it is, sure. but there's a lot of people who have gotten sick from it. Oh, okay. Now, what's unique about algae that we're dealing with right. is we're dealing with a technology that not only helps the environment, but it's it's just a cleaner burn, and right. it's safer for the environment. You now, know, I, hey, yeah. I understand, because yeah. because people are, are, are into environmental yeah. issues nowadays, yeah. and because the PBM code, that, that was the yeah. last horrible yeah. thing that happened in the ocean. Yeah. But, um, you know, now you have the SEALs. Yes. And the, the SEALs. Now, just even Toe was an ex-Navy SEAL. Correct. He, he likes to be pr proud of that. And right. my understanding is that to be a Navy SEAL, you have to go through a lot. So I'll let yeah. you explain that because I think. Sure, yeah. So explain that to me. <laughs> First too, of all, so. yes, I'm not a Navy SEAL. Yes. Never have been, never will be. Right. Uh, two of my partners are Navy SEALs. They're actually ex-Navy SEALs. And we created a company called Seal Mind. And actually, it's a three-part system. There's Seal Mind, which is a business solution company where we actually go into companies and we build them from the inside out uh, where we actually take <laughs> – the company's numbers, take them out of the red, put them into the black to put them into positive numbers. But we do it where we, where no one gets fired, so everybody keeps their job. The second part of it is called Seal Mine uh, Security, where we actually have Navy SEALs go into companies and provide security. And but the coolest one I think everybody's going to like, and it's coming out for this fall and for 2014, is Seal Mind X. Now, what is Seal Mind X? I have no idea. Seal Mind X. I'm asking you. What? Seal Mind what is X. It? <laughs> <laughs> I like to add a little question. Yeah, back yeah please. You. <laughs> you know, thank you. Seal, Seal Mind X is something very unique, folks, where if you heard of our competitors, Tough Mudder and uh, Spartan R Death Race. No fodder. Uh, <laughs> Spartan you Death said, Race. No, no fodder. I, yeah. I, there's a mudder, but no fodder. I know, but These, no, I'm sorry. This, uh, the Seal Mind X is basically, it gives people an insight of to what going to training is for the, to become a U.S. United States Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. um, so what we did is we actually created a uh, an event, a mm -hmm. a high powered event that you can actually experience mm -hmm. what Hell Week is like going right. into SEAL training. Okay, that's what now, it's about. I, I want to ask you: if I decide to do it, I know I don't have to pay because I'm so, so popular. <laughs> but the, the thing is, if I do it, can I bring my 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 drink? Like, you can bring whatever I, you want. As long as go for come, it. Yeah, because you know, I, I, <laughs> whatever you want. I need go for my it. I need my drink. You know, always next to me. Sure, go and, for you it. Know, <laughs> liquid is always good for yeah. me anyway. But you have other productions as well. Sure. You have the um, magazine that's coming up. Yes, that's yes. the newest thing that you have. That's a brand new thing out. We actually we just started. Uh, we just hired a new uh, publisher and CEO, uh, CEO. Her name is Mara Montabano. Right. Uh, she is now going to be publishing our magazine. Uh, we're going to be starting in New York, Chicago, and LA, and then we're expanding out to Ireland and Greece as well. We're going to be hitting different markets, a unique structure, and especially London. And we're going to be doing something very di different out there. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? No, no, no. We're going to be focusing on a different aspect of the entrepreneurial process for people and going into how to build a business, but be go going beyond that. And I'm going to leave that to Mara because I want her to yeah. surprise everybody. Okay, Mara <laughs> Montalban, she sounds familiar. She used to work on New York one, one, yes. New York one. Now hey, she works hey, for the I... Alpira company. She works for me, so oh, right. we got somebody okay. really good, and she's going to do a really amazing job. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she. Oh, she's she is very good at what she does. She is. You know, but I'm telling you, but you also have the last two, if I remember correctly, you have a record label yes. and TV label. Yes. So, when am I going to be on? Ah, uh, soon enough. And, you know, <laughs> I, I I like to know because I am a hot talent and everybody sure. wants me so far. Sure. But how did you come up with the TV and the radio? The yeah. TV and the radio actually kind of were honestly handed to me. Um, yes. While I went to Greece back in 2011, I actually met uh, a person from a Greek radio st uh, station out in Long Island City. And um, we basically, um, as we got involved, they put me onto the area. Uh, they asked me if I want to do a mm -hmm. Greek golf radio show. Right. So we're actually starting in a couple of weeks and building that. If we're going to start it. So, so there's so the TV show, the TV and radio show is going to be more on golf. It's going to be more it? on golf, but we're also going to be doing the uh, Seal Mind, right, and other stuff as well as going to be on the television show. So it's going to be a variety show, okay. but more towards the companies. So, uh, okay, so yeah. the all right. So, if you're auditioning. Let me Absolutely. know. Yeah, yeah. you got it. You got it. Yeah, you have to. If you don't, yeah. forget yeah. about it. You know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I gotta take that Navy SEAL course for that. Absolutely. <laughs> but um, yeah. other than that, you do have also a music. 
Yes, I have a record label. It's called Metro Tour Records. We're actually doing something really cool. Um, we're, we created a new structure called Tenor Live. Uh, we are going to be heading out in 2014. We're going to be heading to uh, Ireland, Greece, and Italy. Mm -hmm. And we have a great new uh, lineup here. And I will tell you something that's very unique about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Tenor Live is not what you think. Tenor Live is actually going to be a little bit of a musical. Uh, we've incorporated some people from the musical industry, and we're going to be having a very unique uh, type of concert that kind of goes on to Tommy from The Who. Right. And kind of blending that type of music together to create a really spectacular show. Now, you're going to have, um, you're going to decide who's going to be on there and find the talent, basically. Oh, sure, yeah. How, 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 if they want to, if for the any interviews, let's say, yeah, how should they do it, and what what do you look for? We look for we what we look for in our talent for uh, Metro Records is we don't. It's not just about the music; it's about the overall performance of the person and how they do things. And what we like to do is try to find people that really connect with the audience. You have to really think outside the box, and you just can't have a singer. You need to have someone who has a theatrical background, someone who can really get into what they are doing, their passion about the music, dancing, the whole. The whole ambiance behind it—that's what we're looking for. You, you just—you just said you just talked about me. <laughs> I'm sure I you did. Just, you just talked about me. That—that—that's all I, I, I I'm can. I'm sure do. I did. Yeah, I'm telling. I, I mean, I'm good at singing yeah. "Tiny Bubbles." That's about <laughs> probably the only drinking right. song that I know. When, thanks, Don Ho. You know, <laughs> but geez, but you have. Don't you have on another? couple of companies as well. Oh, sure. I, yeah, but go ahead, knock them out. Uh, we also yeah. have a wine company coming out, yeah. uh, Alpira Wines. Yeah, so you know what I'm getting from this. We're, uh, we're taking that uh, to a whole new level. That's actually going to be blended with the Metro Golf Tour, where we're going to be sending that out to all, different, all the countries around the world and adding that in. Um, that's been pretty popular. We have our Chardonnays and Merlot, so if anybody who has their, uh, who are wine connoisseurs, right. uh, we'd love to have you on board and uh, try our products out. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're giving me a case for free. Yeah. yeah you notice how I'm just at, just telling, not asking, because I'm supposed to be <laughs> I getting, don't mind. I'm sure. supposed to be getting this for free anyway, because I am the hardest, bad, sexiest man on cable access TV, believe it or not. And well, believe it. Just believe it. But one quick question. Sure. You started, you, we talked about it in, uh, outside. Yes. You started from your house. Yes, I started from so my house. So what was the first thing that you started on? I started with the golf tour is the very first thing. And then right. what I found from there is that um, there's so many things that were lacking. Or a perfect example is Mark right. Zuckerberg when he right. created Facebook. Right. Find something, build it better. And that's what I've been doing. And that okay. from there, I've been looking at all the different companies, find, finding out what's missing out there in the world, and just building it. So oh, okay. I started with the golf tour, built that up, right. and from there, I got everything else going. All right. Well, thank you. I, uh, hopefully you can stay. Sure. Hopefully you can yeah, stay. Sure. We have plenty more guests to come. Maybe you can help them with hints and so sure. forth. No problem. So when we come up next... We have a Key of Awesome video, so let's go to the Key of Awesome. We're serving up fresh sweets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Eat some of our beats, they'll keep you warm all winter. We're eating up them beats and going yum, yum, yum. I'm putting them in my tummy because they yum, yum, yum. yum. To black eyed peas in our town, better check right. yourself. Right. Black eyed peas in our town, better rip party. This is getting out of hand. There's too many people in this band. It's time for some band interviews. I have to fire some of you. My name's Taboo. I'm the weird Mexican. I don't recall ever letting you in. Walk me through your average day and list the instruments that you play. I play no instruments per se, but I drop the beat and then say, hey. When you say you drop the beat, do you mean you drop it literally? Um, nah, that's the DJ's job. I drop it figuratively. I also pace around the stage and strike a menacing pose. On Saturdays, I do the shopping and wash the band's clothes. Okay, Apple G app, what the hell do you do? Well, I'm the other black guy. You know the one who's not you? I bring the heat and I drop the beat. When you say something, I just repeat. Like, what? What? Huh? Huh? Stop it. Stop it. Ah! ah. Then I make noises like ping pow zap. Ha <laughs> ha! Apple D app. More like Apple D crap. Fergilicious in the building. Say what? Fergilicious. Sit your ass down and shut up. Now, apart from your looks, what do you bring to the table? When it comes to writing hooks, you'll find that I am quite able. Don't stop believing. Don't stop. Don't stop. 
Plastic surgery. No, my lips got stung by bumblebees. Did you just have an accident? No, that's just some yellow sweat. All right, band meeting. Okay, Fergie, you're fired because you ripped off Journey. Apple D app, it's time to press Apple Z. Taboo, you can stay, but you can't sing anymore. I need someone to mop Fergie's pee off the floor. Yes! Don't stop believing. Don't sing, just mop. Nothing. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. All right. Woo. -hoo. All right. Now, up next, we have a photographer who I'm going to let him introduce himself because right now, I don't know if my, my eyesight's doing well or not, but I'm going to let him introduce himself because I'm into photography as well. So, sir, if you, what is your name? My name is Christopher Bossio, and I own a company down at the Jersey Shore called Bossio Photography, LLC. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Now, how long have you been in the business for? Uh, approximately 22 years. 22 years. Good God. That's a, that's a lot of years. Lot Boy, of years. Is, I have to tell you. What Now, what made you get started? Oh, oh my, his mic got to go up? Okay, thank you. Mike. Yeah, yeah, please. There we you have go. problems with <laughs> mics around here. I tell you, we're breaking the fourth wall, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're breaking the fourth wall. There's no walls here. Well, they all was holding up the thing. But go ahead, continue. Okay, uh, I used to travel around a lot with my family. If and I, I always wanted pictures of wherever I went. So I got into photography at six years old and then just learned it from there. And yeah. I traveled all around the world. Oh, really? Where was the first stop? First stop was San Francisco. What was the first picture? Do you remember? Mm. That's a good, that's a good, that's a tough question. It was actually the Hearst Mansion. Oh, Gee, how was that? You know, was that it, was beautiful, you know? absolutely gorgeous. Now, now, what was your first camera? A brownie box. What's that? that <laughs> the, 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 what, what is a brownie box? That is a Kodak camera that is uh, approximately a square shape right. that has a 35 millimeter cartridge, a little smaller. Right. And it used to use the old flash bulbs. Oh, okay. I remember the flash bulbs. Now, how did you get started? Again? What made you? What made you? Just you traveling know? around, and I liked playing around with playing. it, and I was also into art. So, because I, 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 when I interviewed Mac, he said he started his companies or one of the companies, the golf company. If I remember, put the mic up. Oh, sure. again. The the company in his house. So I find it very interesting where people start with their companies. You started, you know, just by traveling around, and he started by, by his house. Now, it, now, you've had so much experience. Now, I know you have pictures coming up, so if if you want to show the pictures and and tell us more about what you do, that would be great. So if we can have the pictures, that would be fine. Sure. But for now, um, the oh, there's one of your pictures right now. Um, how did that show up? How? Because I'm bad with taking. Um, I'm bad with photography, taking people's shots. I'm better at landscaping. That was one of my clients actually wanted to do a Alice in Wonderland theme, so we did a takeoff on it, and we actually tied all the cards together. The chair is hanging from the ceiling, so it all looks like it's swirling around. Right. And we had the bottle, you know, drink me eat me yeah oh, <laughs> so we had all the props. uh yeah yeah that, that's a good product eat me and drink me yeah. and then we had uh, yeah. approximately 20 hours of editing on that one uh, i can see that Jeez, 20 hours golly but um this shot that's a nice car yes that's a friend of mine's uh, 74 gremlin wow. yeah that yeah stored right. <laughs> nice it's it right <laughs> and we borrowed a apple orchard to do this workshop this was uh, about three students of mine that I teach uh, photography oh, too, okay. so we got the car and the girl. Oh, how did you get now? I know how to get the girls for me, but I know how. How do you get your girls? <laughs> Mostly on the internet websites <laughs> for modeling. I, you know, that isn't that something that he gets. Do you have a question for the gentleman? I mean, I'm just listening. Yeah, okay, no, if, if you want to <laughs> ask a question, by all means, you know, don't, don't, don't be shy. Give it a try. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, but um, oh, what? Oh, he's got it. Okay. Now here's another shot here. 
That well, was done cool. for the Paul Mitchell hair group out of Los Angeles. Uh, it was a hair and makeup idea they came up with. Right. So we just used a fashion, simple fashion background. Now, like I said, I'm good with landscapes. I'm not good with shooting people. How do you, how do you get, you know, get pat the shooting of shooting people? Because how do you teach a student how to shoot a person, more or less? That's a good question. I have a student right now who does nothing but landscapes. Yes. And she wanted to add people into her pictures. Right. So basically the easiest way is to get either your family or your friends to get involved. Oh, okay. Or their kids. But do you, Kids are easier to work with to start. Really? But do you get them to go, okay, be doing this position, doing that position? Yeah. Doing certain oh, positions? yeah. It helps if you actually have an idea before you shoot. Look in magazines, look in books get an mm -hmm. idea and then you can put that in front of a mirror for them mm -hmm. and they can mimic it oh here's another shot he's looked pretty big there yeah that's uh, a friend of mine he's an mma fighter so we were just doing a little art shoot for him oh wow now so he's using that for promotional yes. purposes for oh, his yes. mma fights and stuff. that was a nice picture he, i yeah. mean look uh, now that's, that's a better picture. yeah exactly <laughs> here 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 let me drink to that one i, I drink to anything practically but how did you now ex explain that one? Yeah, I'm willing. <laughs> <laughs> that one, uh, she's actually a brand new model that wanted to get into the industry, had no experience whatsoever. I, uh, yes. So we just studied some Sports Illustrated magazines and just started telling her how just, to pose, yes. showed her how to do it, and she did the rest. Yes. I Very hope, natural. Yes. I hope you have your num her number still because I'd like to have her on the show as well. Well, if you fly to Miami. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, no, well, they pay me. I don't pay them. They, if they want me, they got to come to me. But, because, <laughs> but again, is that that was it for the pictures? Because I that was it? Oh, all right. No, we have no more pictures. All right. Jeez. <laughs> I wish we could do it again. <laughs> I love seeing those pictures. Now, you know, in, in, when the car one came up, the first thing I seen was the car. Yes, I noticed the girl too, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not that blind. You know, she was a nice looking chick as well. Do people still use chick? I guess. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. They, they, yeah. Still, they yeah. still use chick, right? The ladies, they, they still use chicks? <laughs> no, they don't use chicks they anymore. They don't use chick anymore? No, no. You can laugh. It's well, okay. We do. You, can, you can laugh. It's okay to laugh. Laughing is good for the soul. It's okay. No problem. I mean, this is an interacting thing, you know. No problem. Like, I'm surprised somebody said, you don't call us chicks, damn it. We're women, unless we're somewhere else. But no, unless we're <laughs> drinking. <laughs> but again, since he owns a wine, and that's why I'm, I'm intoxicated already. And that, that wine thing's really got to me, that's for sure. Sure it has. Yeah, right? But you've been in the business for a, a certain amount of time. And now what do you look forward to? now when you start shooting do you go and say today i'm going to la because i feel like going or do projects come to you how does that pretty much on? projects come to me and then i go wherever they yeah. want me to go who who normally tells you to do this who would well i have uh, a about 20 different uh websites so i'm all yes. over the place linkedin well, obviously facebook yes and a few others that are specific related to commercial photography really as well as model photography now when they tell you commercial what type of commercial is it what, what, what mostly it's advertising it pictures advertising things that you see in a magazine and product service or whatever oh like can um, well i got i want to mention but it's like campbell soup you put the can there yeah and so exactly you have people around it you getting you getting any tips from this guy, gentlemen? I think he actually said the best thing was about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is probably one of the best, actually the one of business. Them, yeah, you know, it's actually probably the best because I mean that's that's unlike Facebook and the other uh, social networking sites. That is the best networking yeah. site to get business from. Yeah, that I mean I I do pretty good on it. Well, I do pretty good everywhere. So I don't think. <laughs> my my work is all around. I don't have to say much. I just gotta go. Except for one person who's still not here yet, but I'm not gonna mention that person's name yet. But <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, how much time we got left? I, I I love doing this, doing it live and taped at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. Being very professional about things because you have to be very professional. But <laughs> as you can see, 
where um now where are they going to take you what what are your, are your up and coming events that they're telling you do you know ahead of time well, i've got a fashion designer coming down from toronto we're going to do a jersey shore restore the shore show mm -hmm. to help out so we're going to do that in asbury park right. since they got the least of the damage oh okay and right. that's coming okay. up with a local new jersey networking group that we're all in oh okay and anything else that that um off the top of your head well your next one of your guests here we just oh, okay. collaborated on a book and we're working on Good. another book for her because too. she's coming up i think next anyway so we're gonna we're not gonna use the word she so much ladies and gentlemen we actually put a gonna put a name on it what is her name by the way karen geller oh see she's coming up next i think because like i said we're very professional and and then we're having a good time. Well, I hope we're having a good time, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. But, you know, we got about one minute left. Now, again, you, what would you recommend for a person to start photography? What type of camera? Any, any of them, are, they're all comparable on the entry level. And they're simple to use. Olympus has a really easy one. Sony makes a lot of really good ones mm -hmm. that are actually better than Canons. Right. The Canon entry level are pretty good, but you you still have to have a learning curve when it comes to all the programming. Okay. I mean, and do you put it on auto all the time? I mean, the Canons usually come with auto. To auto start, focus. it's nice to put it on auto so you get the feel of the camera, understand what's going on. Right. And then, you know, log in to YouTube and watch videos on how to yeah. Yeah, is also a very yeah, quick YouTube. way to learn. YouTube is actually a very, very prominent tool in business these days. A lot of people trying to get their brands out. I've noticed even in my company, we use YouTube a lot and really? it, oh, it's, it's a huge factor and it can actually make a business. Huh. I mean, if you look for first, I mean, oh, yes. not, change, not change the subject, but yeah. if you look at someone like Psy, I mean, it has 100 million hits. Yeah. Oh. That, that tells you something and it's getting, it's getting out there. See, this isn't a boring show. Everybody yeah. wants to talk. I don't know. <laughs> you know everybody else wants to say something. But that's okay. You know, I don't. I don't mind it. Well, it took me a lot longer to learn. I didn't have a computer at the right. time oh, when geez. I started. Way back when I started, there was no such thing as the internet yet. So, yes. oh, yeah. I learned by reading all the magazines and just taking rolls of film, mm -hmm. logging in a little notebook, everything I did to change it up, right. and then go back. Okay, how did I get that exposure? Well, now we have next another. Key of Awesome video, and I like to thank the Key of Awesome once again. And then we're gonna have one other person coming up. So let's go to the video tape. Hey, I'm Jamie and the Prince from Jamie and the Prince and the Tone Deaf Two. You know our song, the Booty Jam. Do the Booty Jam. That's me as a younger man. Now recently, the Key of Awesome held a contest where you voted in the comments to see the entire Booty Jam video. Well, guess what? I have the one and only copy of that video right here. I taped it off of MTV back in 1989 when it aired. That one time at 4 a.m. Well, anyway, enjoy the booty jam. My work got down. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's kick it. Posse in effect. Word to your mother. <laughs> I just made that phrase up, homeboy. I used to be dope, fresh, chilling. My threads were super fly. But I've been stone cold illin' since my booty well went dry. Girl, your beauty is futuristic, like 1993. But your booty must be sadistic, because it's torturing me. Every night I sprain my wrist, I buy you diamonds in K-Swiss. I'm so sick of getting dissed by these chicken head skeezers. I would never try to front just to get inside your car. Your heart's so your booty's so hot. What your man got that I ain't got? Booty jam. Say what? He can do the booty jam. Huh? And if you wanna be my man, I do. It's true. You gotta learn to do the booty jam. Sweeping across the land, even bigger than Miss Pac-Man. Now, I'm sad. I'm the man who's gonna teach you how to booty jam. Step one, take your buns and stick them way out. Wave them in the breeze like you're airing them out. Step two, get you a partner and stand back to back. Count to three and let the booties attack. Now this jam ain't for the faint of heart. You get disqualified if you let out a fart. I know what 
you're thinking and you might be right. You think the booty jam sounds like a booty fight. But the BJ's all about peace and love. Say yes to the jam and no to drugs. I was once like you, now the ladies are jocking me. Got a master's degree in bootyology. I know you probably thought the booty jam was about sex. Nope, but if you do it right, that's what'll happen next. Booty jam. Am I doing it right? Booty jam. You can do it all night. Doing the booty jam. You got it. You got it. Girl, there's nothing. Jam, I do the booty jam. Everyone's a fan of the booty jam. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm your maintenance man. And if your booty needs a tuning, then here I am. Too much booty in my face, violating my workspace. Every day I'm getting chased by these chicken head skeezers. I know that I'm truly blessed, but I just need a booty rest. I think I prefer. morality tale about what happens when you hunt for an abundance of tail so remember to be careful of what you wish for and don't sue me when the booty starts breaking down your door booty jam yeah see you in hell sucker mc booty jam not to be confused with do the bart man booty jam <laughs> no this is the one and only copy of the booty jam oh no dolores oh oh Call the call the Maxell Corporation. This is terrible. This booty jam was my whole life. What am I gonna tell the tone deaf to? And, and I like to thank the Kia Vossa for that. Let's give him a clap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you, Kia Vossa, and thank you, Laura Frances, for letting or Francesca to, for letting me be able to air it for your permission. Now we have up next, um, uh, let me see what I got here. We have author, gymnast, uh, sports professional, actress, and you're a coach as well. You do a lot, you, you like Mac over here. So, but uh, introduce yourself, please. My name is Karen Goler. Uh -huh. I do sports science and all of the things that Hector just mentioned. Yeah, yes, exactly. Now, how do you handle, just like Mike here, how do you handle so much, ha so many hats? Because that, that's a lot to do. They all have something to do with one another, mm -hmm. so that it's not very difficult to handle. Okay, okay, all right. Now, what was the first thing you started off with? In 1972, gymnastics. gymnastics, ballet and gymnastics. That's that's what started you with gymnastics. Now, right. Um, what was the second thing? Um, well, gymnastic fitness was always fitness. part of gymnastics right. because you have to be strong to be a gymnast. So right. that kind of um, okay. Was the second thing. All right. No, that's okay because we're we're just trying to go up and down the line so that everybody knows really what we're doing here. But um, the third thing was. You 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 um you have a couple of books out as well. Right. Now each book is different. Each each book is different. So if you, um, let's talk about the books. You know what 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 other books are are. Well, most of them are gymnastics and fitness, and then and there you is can put one. The mic again toward you. Yeah. Then there is one. Yeah, because. Is that better. Uh, yeah. Uh, is that okay? Is she? Is that okay with with? This is fine. Okay. Oh, there's your first book right there. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, what's it called? Fitness on a savings. A s <laughs> what a swing set. Swing set. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, my eyesight's getting better as I get. <laughs> anyway, how did you come up with that concept? I was at the beach and there were people on the swings. Right. And they were, you know, how you you use your legs to go forward and back on the right. swing. Well, the lift of your legs is the equivalent yeah. of a leg extension yes. that you would see in a health club right and bending your legs right. is the equivalent of a leg curl mm -hmm. so as they were doing that i said to myself oh leg extension leg curl and, and then i thought of another bunch of exercises that could be done with a swing so you're taking uh you're taking you're you're, you're, you're taking uh what do you mean what are them planet fitness away from business from them because they could do it at the beach or they can use anything to do exercises yeah i mean wow well you do you're right when you swing you do have to use your legs right mm -hmm. yeah you push yourself and so forth this is why i got the swivel chair today because <laughs> i just wanted to do that 
you know, like, wee, my legs. But anyway, I, I <laughs> your second book, um, what does that contain? And how did you get started with that one? Well, I'm not sure which second which, uh, book which, you mean. Which, I brought three with me today. There you go. There you go. Oh, that one is my life story okay. from 1991 until today. And it was basically my cancer diagnosis, how I dealt with the diagnosis, right. and then my life since then. So you've had back problems. Also, you're a cancer survivor as well. Right. right? Now, what type of cancer did you have? It was a malignant melanoma. Malignant melanoma. Explain it to some <laughs> of the people that don't know because I'm telling you there's so many cancers out there that is d different. So explain to the people what is that? Well, it's actually, it starts out as a skin cancer, but if you don't get it checked in time, like I didn't, um, it can actually grow into a tumor. It can spread throughout your body and it can ev end up as brain cancer and stuff like that. I didn't get to that point, but it can and it can end up killing you. Okay, so you know now that now what happened to to your back? What how did you throw your back out like that? That was an accident. Right. Um, I was walking out of a building and a board fell on my head and basically crushed my spine. That was in two thousand. So your um. Oh okay, okay. So again, we're getting good advice from our floor manager about the bloody mics again. For crying out loud, if I put my mic any deeper, it's going to look red, and, and this is the no porn thing, okay, ladies and gentlemen? For crying out loud. <laughs> oh, okay, we're well, bringing my mic down now before it was up. For up or down? Uh, that's a bad movement. But <laughs> I, I, I Oh, she's covering her face with the mic. Okay, I got you. Okay, uh, thank you. Ye yes, well, you speak loud. <laughs> this is a great show, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. Ah, but <laughs> <laughs> you get and treat me. See, I'm actually teaching how to use the microphones and not how not to use them. So this is the perfect way to do it oh, on a live and taped TV show. But, uh, <laughs> you know, how long were you in the hospital when that, bo what is it, a box? A board. Oh, a it was board. actually a construction board. I wasn't in the hospital l long at all. All the rehab was at home because all I could really do was lie on my back. Right. I do that a lot too. I, but that's a whole different story. I mean, I'm not going to get into that. But you didn't have to use surgery or anything of that nature. Right? No, they didn't want to do surgery because the damage was in so many different areas of my spine. Oh, okay. Now I know, Chris. Um, I'm right, Chris. Right? Yes. You helped with the books or the, p the photography of the books and so forth. Just the most recent one. The most recent one. How did you two guys meet to to start up a, a, a book? To, we met at a network uh, event party for local businesses in our area. Right. And she came up to me with the idea if she wanted to, somebody to shoot the book for her. So we met up and discussed the idea, and a week later we had a book. Oh, all right. We had only... Uh, uh, oh, her other book. <laughs> yes. Thank you again. <laughs> I'm telling you. Let's talk about her other book. Let's show her other book, Legs Plus Workouts. Now, it, it's self-explanatory. It's about legs. Right. Now, legs also fix the buttocks, right? Right. So, because now we're, we're getting into, for some reason, fitness is starting to go with the buttocks. Before, it used to be the abs. Now, it's the old Brazil. You got to get a Brazilian butt for some reason all of a sudden, you know. It's true because there's a lot of, uh, what are you, what's, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say butt exercises, but I'm trying to be as clean as possible. I should let you explain that. What part of the body, is the, besides calling it the behind, it's called the gluteus maximus, right? Right. Ah, right. That's a good thing. Yeah, yes, I know big words. <laughs> th th <laughs> thank you for clapping at me for using big words. Ah, uh, you're so kind. You're far too kind. God help me. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> now, you went, now how did, how long did the cancer last? Uh, well, the surgery, surgery took care of the cancer. Okay, um, the surgery took care yeah. of the cancer. Then the, then um, your back and your neck. Right, right. And 
how and you took care of that how did you take how did you take care of that well i'm still injured yes. it's just that i can do a lot more now than i was able to do after the accident you're more mobile right oh, okay that's much more, more. yeah well that's a good thing yes now i know that we're gonna take a, a small break because you're gonna show up some exercise moves correct right now i wanted to ask you because what did you think of the Navy SEAL thing? What, do you think that's an actual good thing for um, physical fitness people like myself who was actually ready, or should I start from the beginning? Uh, start from the beginning. Um, it's kind of funny because the first book that I wrote back right. in 2000 was used to create the first CrossFit program, oh. and that's what the Navy SEALs use. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> See that? <laughs> yeah. He's correct. Oh, yeah. that, see, see that? There's something else yeah. I, I didn't know. But you know what? What we're going to do is now, we're gonna, we, she's going to show us some exercise moves. I'm going to try to put some moves myself. Uh -huh. And that's a joke. You can <laughs> laugh. Why? This is, I am funny, Tough right? Crowd. I, Tough I, crowd. Tough I, crowd. I am funny, <laughs> right? I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm supposed to be funny for crying out. Well, she's going to come and teach us a couple of moves, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll have fearless females next. So without further ado, let's take a break, and we'll come back for the exercise. Oh, the video. Ho, ho, when it's Christmas time, everybody's waiting in a big-ass line. Just sitting on my lap in big for Elmo's iPads and crap, yeah. Brats are out of control. My elves are doing nothing but shoveling coal. Older girls sit on me and get the picture taken ironically. Hey, girl, look at that belly. Like a bowl full of jelly. As seen on the telly. It sticks out. I come down your chimney. Though it don't quite fit me. Why do I smell kindling? Put it out. My doctor told me I had diabetes. That's what happens when you eat a hundred billion cookies. I still deliver. Nuts. <gasps> Girls love the taste of my sugar plums and my candy cane. What? I got a list of naughties. It's pretty much a list of all my shorties. Wait, let me explain it. Mrs. Claus and I have a special arrangement. Yeah. I'm jolly and burly. I never come early. I'm stuffing your turkey. Check it out. When the ladies get nippy, I'm making deliveries from Dallas to Sydney. Then I'm out. Single moms are friendly. Every Christmas Eve. When the night comes to it and my sack is always empty I got a nine inch beard and I ain't afraid to grow it Blow it, show it, comb it, stroke it I'm Santa and I know it I'm Santa and I know it Jingle, 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 jingle bells Tickle, 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 tickle elves Comic Cupid, Donald Blitz and Rudolph Sale I'm Santa and I know it Ducky Kielbasa how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? We're back. In our next segment, we have a, a, a volunteer because she's fearless and she's a woman. And she is from Fearless Woman. She's one of the people that is going to be interviewed as well. But what a way, to, what a segment to, to go into, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> but anyway, she volunteered for the exercise. So by all means, take it away. Go ahead. Which is the first exercise if you're starting, if you are just starting off? Let's well, say for leg exercise. What exercise? It's actually legs plus. You're working your upper and lower body at right. the same time. Okay. Um, the first one will be a simple squat with a press. So you're going to stand like this, feet shoulder width apart. Relax for a moment. Okay. Bend your knees and bend at your hips as if you're sitting on a chair behind you. Like that? Yeah. Relax your knees. Really really good. Good. Now come back up. Now once you can do that safely, then you can add the upper body component. So do this with your arms. Turn them this way. Right. Palms yes. facing you. Hold them very tight. Okay. Okay. Then reach up to the ceiling and then come back to that starting position. Now, 
Bend your legs and hips. Good. Now stand up and reach up. You got it. There you go. Do one more. Bend. Bend at your hips too, like you're sitting. Okay. Good. And then reach up for the ceiling. Okay. So this good. means. So that this means. Good. All right. So let me see if I got this straight. You you bend. Try? No, not with the weights. I, I lift <laughs> enough women to, to believe me. That's why I'm so in shape. So the first thing you do is bend like you're squatting to go to the toilet. Right. Yes. All right. <laughs> Basically. Bend. Then after that. You gotta put your butt. Yep. Yeah, but exactly. I only got so much. <laughs> Uh, thank goodness for that video him. from the Kia Awesome from the butt. Thank you. But again, uh, so you do this first, right. right? You keep your back tilted or just slightly, not slightly. really. Right. So like this, yeah, right? And click. then after that, you go up. Stand back up. Oh, okay. Back up and bring your hands. Yeah, up. the hands. Okay. okay. Now there is Do one it. safety thing you have to remember mm -hmm. as you're going down and up. You have to remember not to let your knees go in or out. Okay. Because then you can cause damage. Now the next one. That's not my back. Is, which one? Down on my leg, the next right? one. Be careful. You have plants behind you. Yeah, they're, they're don't wild. Put one foot in front of the other. Okay. Good. Take a slightly bigger step. Good. Relax um, your arms. Good. Okay. Bend your knees. Go as far as you comfortably can. Okay. And come back up. Now that's the lower body portion. Okay. okay. Now, do this with your arms. Curl only up to about here. Hold them here. Good, and face forward. Good, and now relax your arms. Now bend. Ooh, I feel that. Good, now curl on the way up. Oh, okay, so it's bend. bending and, and then curl. Hold these on very the tight. Okay, got Make it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, so it's bending and then curling up. Right, so okay. it's down. So the it's weights down are down when you're down, the weights are up when you're up. Okay, so it's got like it. this. Let me see if I got it, because I'm surprised <laughs> I, I can stand up. So it's like this. No, the, it's not moving. Okay, so it's like this. Yes. And then so balance, it's right? down. Down and then up. And then up. Right. But you would have well, to I take gotta a slightly have bigger it. step. Oh, wait. So it's... So, Thanks. so you're doing it from here. I'm thinking, okay, I got it. So you're doing it looks like, like a little this. karate move, like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. And then down. Like that, right? Right. Oh, so you go back and do it, and then. Right. Like, I mean, oh, you, can you, can connect, you can connect a bunch with your right foot first. Right. Then switch and do a bunch with your left foot. That's and better to do it. Yes. To do it that, that way, or because you know, some uh, some people that I know use different. They do one right. leg first, and then they'll do the other leg second. Right. And vice versa, they'll go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Which one would you recommend? I would recommend doing one side at a time right. because you're adding the upper body component to now, it. Now the last one that you have for us, the last, the last exercise, which one is it? It's going to be a squat, which is the first lower body port, uh, exercise you that you did right. with an iron cross. So you're going to be in your squat position. I'm going this way. Well, I, I went this way so that I wouldn't hit <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you All can right. face forward. Okay. okay. Do this with your arms. Good. Bend your knees. So it's you bending at your knees and your hips. Okay. Hip oh, I heard that correct. Yeah, I mean, you heard it. Oh, wow. Right. That, that, that's now a stand up click. and open your arms. All right, I didn't get that one. Okay. <laughs> so I'm bending yeah. first. Your right. thumbs are at shoulder height. So this way. Shoulder height and relax. Hold on to those weights tight. You don't want to drop them. Okay, bend at your hips. You can tell I, I don't exercise. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Good, now open. Oh, okay, I got it. And then bend. And then bend. Bend at your hips. So it's bending more this right. way? Right. And then open. Back. Right. Okay. Hey, how's that. that feel? I felt it in my leg. You, you heard the click, right? Well, that, that was leg the click. knee. Yeah, that my knee like clicked. That looked like the knee clicked. I mean, knees. It's called just, old just age. It, it, it right. needs oil. <laughs> it just <laughs> needs oil, that's all. I need to join the her. Gym, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> but... And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. We had a great time with the exercise. Thank you. I almost fell doing one of them. I, it reminded me of one of my positions, but I'm not going <laughs> to talk about that one. But it does help your back and so forth. And now it does help your lower back, your glutes, your legs. So I, I know about my fitness. And I know a little bit of everything. But um, now we have next, we have two people or one person from fields one i mean sorry we bianca couldn't come you know and so forth but thank you for representing her so i'm gonna let her introduce herself so just tell the people what your name is <laughs> who your name is. um my name is um lizzie alicia and i am co-founder to fearless females which is a nonprofit organization created by bianca dimitri who could not be here today yes and um now 
I know you had a five-year anniversary. Yes. A five-year anniversary that, that was in May, if I remember correctly. Yes. Now, I want to thank also um, for your volunteering, because that was a hell of a segment to bring you in as well, <laughs> you know, for so showing everybody. Yeah, that's a good shot. Um, <laughs> no, but thank you for um, helping out here. Uh, now, you've been in it for five years, mm -hmm. and has it grown now? I would say that it has. Um, Bianca does extreme, tremendous work going out there and voicing her, you know, her voice and her right. challenges and letting people know what she wants and what she stands for. Right. I kind of took a little break because I was uh, going through some personal things and right. I needed to have a surgery done, which I did in February. Mm -hmm. So I took about a year off mm -hmm. and now I'm back to join her again. Okay. And in the process of that year, I'm in the middle of, well, the beginning stages of writing my book, okay. finally. Yeah, yeah, so. I remember that book. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm included. <laughs> Absolutely. In, in one shape or form, I, you see, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I like to include myself on everything. <laughs> you know, like I'm going to ask the photographer to do the portfolio on Chris, and then I'm going to ask Mac that I'm going to be his guest, you know, you know, we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to have my personal trainer next to me, too. But, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I need her, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, I want to say, do men get in contact with you as well? Are there a lot of battered we, men as well? Yes, we do see a lot of battered men. Most of the time, um, they would be in gay relationships, gay heterosexual relationships, relationships right. as well. Right. And um, whoever is the weaker link, right. uh, I just call it that instead of right. saying girl boy, yeah, um, girl pretty boy, much yeah. is the one that's abused. Right. Um, there are some right. men. I think with the men, it's most... It's embarrassing more for them. Right. And with the women, it's more fear. Right. Like we're scared to go out there and spread the word. And yes, we've been abused, big deal. Right. Everyone's been abused. It's right. been like for centuries, decades. I mean, from 1900s, it's yeah. been behind closed doors. And now right. that we're actually out there spreading the word, right. some people are kind of like leaning to it. And then some people don't want to be bothered. So, I mean, right. you have big controversy when it comes yeah. to domestic violence. Well, I, I look at it, and uh, you guys can chime in on this one, because, you know, men have a tendency, when they get battered, they don't say nothing because we're supposed to be men and we're supposed to take, exactly. take, take care of it. Exactly, and right? that only and makes yeah. it seem like they're weak. Now, and, the other you know. guys, I'm talking about the other guys that are here. I oh. mean, do you agree with that statement? I mean, do Oh, you yeah, I do. A, as a, you agree. And I agree. Matt, you yeah. agree, too? I agree. And you, too? I <laughs> Sorry. How could you forget? Yeah, she just, she just worked exactly. me out over here. Oh, oh thank you, bro. Uh, Rosanna Robinson, ladies and gentlemen of IWH. Uh, what a segment. Uh, they, but again, th thank you, Karen. But it, it, do you think it's, it's true that everything that's being said so far about men not wanting to come out, I mean, because it's, it's, it's bad, because when men get battered, it's different than women, because women can get away with it quicker, they can go to the cops right away, and they'll believe them more, because they're women, they're not gonna believe the guys, but how do you help a person, whether it's a guy or a girl, right? unless you have any other questions that you'd like to ask right now, at the, for the moment, just let me know. Um, how do you help a person? What's what's the first step? That you well, take? that's well. First of all, the person has to be willing to help themselves. Right. You cannot take anyone out of a domestic situation right. if they're not willing, because right. it just interferes with right. their personal space. Mm -hmm. And there's been plenty of incidents where we would go try to help a female, and they're so fearful that they're like, no, 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 we don't want it, and they stay with their abuser. Why? Because the abuser is the breadwinner. Right. And if they leave, they have nowhere to go, okay. they have no family, and so it's more of a mind control thing. Right. I think when men get abused, it's more of an ego trip for them. Right. And they're not going to say, hey, my wife beat me up, right. you know, because it just makes them look weaker to their other Right. male friends right so it kind of depends but we had some males come in and i think bianca was talking about bringing mm -hmm. someone with her if she yeah, was yeah, to yeah, be right, here right. to speak a little bit about their um oh. situation oh. and it's all around the board i treat everybody fair i mean i did right. 16 years so right i understand it's a long yeah. time now i wanted to ask you because 
I want to uh, introduce Rosanna Robinson, the producer of IWH, who actually called your organization. So let me ask you, how did the organization help you? Well, the situation that I was in, I was in a domestic violence situation that actually, for years, it had been just an emotional abuse, you know, verbal and emotional abuse. I was like, oh, I can live with this, it'll get better. That's where it but in the, exactly, and in the past three years, because this, it reached a climax in 2008, mm -hmm. and he was starting to become physical. Now, he hit you? Yeah. He, he hit me, he pushed me, he threw things at me, mm -hmm. and it wasn't a constant. He choked me once, and I called the police. Right. And he walked out. They never showed up, and he came back in, and mm. I had called a friend. They came and helped. So, uh, But I it was a situation where okay. I was in denial. And I've had friends who were in the same situation, and I was like, I'm here for you, I'll help you. But because I couldn't see the forest, from, I was sitting up against the redwood going, where's the forest, I can't find the trees. Right, exactly. Because I couldn't see what had happened to myself. He had manipulated right. me, he had taken away my self-esteem, he had disconnected me from the friends that I had had. Mm -hmm. So the only friends I was permitted to have were the friends that he had. Right. Any place I went, he went. I had no life of my own. There was nothing. I had to get permission to do anything. Now, is it true that you had to help, like Liz, Liz said? Bianca the was okay. the person we'll who, the Bianca was the person yeah. who actually got me help. She got me um, connected with the Seaman Society on Staten yeah. Island. I got a therapist there. They got me in contact with Staten Island Legal, yeah. and they helped me get um, an order of protection, and I got out of the situation. Oh, good. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Very good. Let's give her a hand, Very ladies and gentlemen. Now, we, what we have to do is we have to end the show. I'm sorry that the segments were short because I would have liked to have asked more questions, but I'm going to go down the line for a minute. If they want to contact you, Chris, where can they contact you? They can contact me at my website, Bossio Photography. LLC.com. And you? Uh, they can contact Karen? me through KarenGoller.com. K A R E N G O E L L E R.com. Oh, uh, I'm at uh, Laricia2002. That's L A R I S, as in Sam E A2002, at Yahoo.com. Ro, Ro, you know you got to do that. Oh, you're on WrestlingHighlights.com. Okay, <laughs> Mac? Uh, they can reach me at a pure group uh, at gmail.com. And also you the and female yeah website. okay yeah and yeah. also if anyone's being in a and situation. don't don't forget now to say thank you to everybody thank you Master Yusuf Ali Abdullah for being the floor manager and giving me all these hand gestures thank goodness you're a martial artist <laughs> and Mike the Giacomo <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Brian Lepai Lepai is it uh, Mitch Foley David and Valerie. Thank you, everybody. This is, now contact me at homeinvadersrightyshow.com. Again, homeinvadersrightyshow.com. Well, you will talk to the hardest, bad, sexiest man on cable access TV if you want to be here as well. So without further ado, let me say goodbye. Adios. Aviazane. Okay. Bye. Yeah, Lawrence Welk.